That guy in the video is Josh Robinson. He's the one who invited me up to Rush City to film this ice drifting event. So this story begins with a Facebook post from a place called Epic Kart Racing. And the post said, a friend of ours needs someone who's local to the Minneapolis St. Paul area and is sick with the sticks of an FPV drone. It has to be FPV, gig involves pro drivers, frozen lakes, and fast cars. What's not to love? Drop the page a message with your bio slash portfolio. And as you can see, there was a lot of qualified people commenting on the post, so I certainly didn't think I was going to get picked, but I later found out that Josh didn't even see the post. Basically, he got a spreadsheet with a bunch of pilots and videos, and he basically said he saw my flying, and that is why he picked me. And so a week or two later, I had checked my junk email, and I didn't realize that I had missed the email from Josh inviting me up to help film this ice drifting event. So I quickly emailed him back and got in touch with him. And we discussed when they were going to be coming up and when I should come up. And that basically brings us to Friday, February 21st. What's up, guys? So today is the day that I've been waiting for for a really long time. So today, basically, we're going to head up to Rush City, Minnesota. We're going to stay there for the night and we're going to come back tomorrow. But what we're doing is we're going to be flying FPV with some Formula Drift USA drivers. Because apparently in their off-season... They come to Minnesota and they do ice drifting, which is like they go out on the frozen lakes and they make tracks and they drift around on it. Basically, my bag is just plump full. I got tons of batteries, just tons of, there's a lot of just in cases in my bag because I just don't want to be in a situation where I need something and then I don't have it. I also have another bag up there. It's got two extra drones in it, the laptop and whatnot, because I couldn't end up fitting the laptop in my backpack, which was kind of disappointing. But anyway, so we are going to begin our journey onto Rush City. So let's go. And so began my journey up to Rush City, Minnesota. I met them at a place called Flickerbird Resorts where they were finishing up some repairs on the cars from the days before. As you can see, the cars were pretty beat up. So after they finished the repairs, basically we headed for the lake. And the first day was kind of difficult for me because it was really windy. If you're interested in seeing any of the video from the first day, I will link that in the description. After lunch, we basically headed across the lake to a different track that they had set up. And we finished out the day there. At the end of the day, Josh had given me a ride around the track in one of his cars, which was pretty crazy. And so after that, basically, we went and got something to eat and headed back to the Airbnb for the night. And that brings us into day two. We all got up, had some breakfast, and then met back at the shop to finish up the repairs on the vehicles. My lens was all foggy because I had left my camera in my vehicle overnight. And then we loaded the cars onto the trailer and we brought them to a lake about 20 minutes away where there was a lot more people racing and a lot more tracks. And this is where the fun begins. I came from the mud, desert on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law, hope they won't shoot me down soon.
to my chin Once I fight it To the very Well, I think that is gonna wrap up this day. I'm all out of batteries. I ran out a little earlier today because we didn't have the truck. We didn't have fuel in the truck, so I couldn't uh, charge earlier, so I ran out of batteries pretty quick. But So I'm hoping to make it up here next week sometime, but my truck is starting to make some effed up noise and I don't know what it is and I don't know if I'm gonna make it back up here next week, but I'm gonna try. So hopefully I will be able to get up here and get some more footage for you guys. and. If not, then it's been a fun time. So thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.